Hi, I'm Sas Ketchup, and I'm here with a bit of a product review for the Kiwi Designs Valve Index USB Radiator, which is here. There you go. And uh, just for information, I was sent this product by uh, Kiwi Designs, um, but that won't affect the outcome of what I'm saying here. Uh, I've been testing this for a number of months and uh, it's basically two fans, lightweight USB thing that gets plugged into the front on the front of the US, uh, the valve index. Now, uh, one of the things we can say about the valve index is that it's noted as a very hot running hot headset that builds up heat. It's one of the very few downsides of this headset. So I was quite keen to test this out. The unit itself, very simple, very short USB cable that plugs into the USB inside the front and then slips in nice and secure into the slot there. It, as you can see from the looks, it kind of fits in well with the whole uh valve index vibe looks a part of it it's very lightweight i haven't really noticed the weight um on the headset itself much as making much of a difference which is a good thing because the valve index itself is a very heavy headset anyway one of the things i did notice which is a really good positive let's go with the positives first of all uh for this is that immediately as soon as i turned it on i could feel the heat being drawn away from the headset and that's not just as in it just draws the heat away from the headset it also improves airflow through the headset so i can immediately feel an increase in airflow across my eyeballs and a cooler ref more refreshing air there it also helps on that longer term gaming now as these are really quite small fans a lot of people out there will probably note that small fans are usually quite loud they're not that loud in this case and um we do have an on off button here at the moment i've got it turned off i'm going to turn it on and we're just going to sit in silence for a moment and see if the microphones, which I have no filters on at the moment, are going to pick that up or not. Now, I can hear a little bit of the whirling. I don't know if you guys can. I don't think, uh, I don't know if you can hear it over uh my voice with my voice at all there but it's barely registering in the audio um when i don't talk so i think that probably you probably won't hear it but if i was to sit in silence then yeah i can hear it a little bit but that's because the valve index uh has these over ear headphones but it's not to uh, a noise level that would be annoying. And certainly when I've been in game, I haven't heard it or noticed it at all with the revving of car engines that I, I quite like to do. Now, as I said, I've been using it for a number of months and I've primarily been uh, practicing and racing and doing some endurance racing and different things like that uh, off of stream which I do hope to get back to doing some more live streaming at some point, but uh, work and different things have got rather on top of me. Um, hopefully correct that in the future. But for now, as a product review from months of testing, um, I found it's really been very beneficial for uh, long-term races, such as endurance races, where I can be spending uh, two, three hours uh, in the headset, racing cars, and normally with the valve index, that's going to be a lot of heat build up on your eyeballs. But since having this, uh, 
it's been a much more pleasant um, time in that I've got, just got quite a, uh, an actually quite refreshing breeze going over my eyeballs, um, which is really nice. <laughs> Uh, and, and much better, but obviously when you get uh, in the middle of something like uh, a big long session in a set of course competizione, um, which is very demanding on your PC, you'll have yourself sweating normally, struggling with the, the, the steering, concentrating deeply, the heat is going to build up from your PC as well, because of how demanding that game is so there'll be additional he heat sources in the room and it's still helped maintain a good level of comfort so for me regarding this oh, uh price price wise this is about 38 pounds um for me i think it's definitely worth it especially if you are a person that wants to play games in the Valve Index for a longer amount of time. If you're one of these people who are definitely finding that the heat build-up in your Valve Index is a bit too much, then I'm going to highly recommend this because it really does make a good bit of difference. Um, longevity of the product. Uh, as I say, I've had it for the last couple of months. It's functioning just the same as it did the day it came out of the box. I don't know how long it will overall. Um, I will find that out. And uh, if it fails at some point, and, uh, then I can tell you then. But at the moment, it's been rock solid for me. Um, and on that note, I'm going to leave you there. So, yes... Draws heat away from the headset, which is the big noticeable thing. Pretty quiet. Yep, check. If you're feeling the heat, go buy it. Why not? It's 37 quid. Can improve your time, your... your time in headsets the comfort of your time in headsets so yeah i'm all for it right on that note if you haven't subscribed do the subscription thing that's going to be over there and probably a video that come up over my head or a video that's come up somewhere over there for me for now goodbye <laughs>